quite deep ruby red, but uh, still transparent uh, at the core with a lighter ruby rim. The nose is pure. It's showing a quite high degree of ripeness, um, thus uh, quite sweet fruit. And I think this is bordering just between uh, the youthful fruit, but with some secondary aromas coming from bottle aging. So we have some a slight hint of earthiness, a slight hint of, uh, of black truffle, gentle hint of oak, vanilla, and then mostly dark fruit such as uh, dark cherry, cassis, with a herbal spiciness, some licorice, aniseed, and sage. It's certainly a full-bodied wine with a lot of grip, uh, truly tannic, uh, well I should say tannic style in terms of grape varieties, but the wine is, uh, I think this is just about to open up now. It doesn't leave the palate dry, but it gives a lot of, of structure and weight. Uh, I like those aromatic herbs, almost some balsamic character, some bouquet garni, rosemary, and uh, wild herbs, but it's nicely underlined by um, uh, luscious um, dark cherry fruit with notes of cassis, uh, very long and spicy finish. I don't get any kind of oak on, on the palate and it's certainly quite ripe uh, in style, but the alcohol is uh, nicely integrated as well. So uh, Very nice glass of wine. Drinking well now, but should have the potential to continue to, do, to uh, develop. Very curious to see where this is.